In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask a blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption of sonship, grant we pray to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watch, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming, on the clouds of heaven when he reached the ancient one and was pre presented before him the one like a son of man received dominion glory and kingship all peoples nations and languages serve him his dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, 
and all peoples see his glory. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. Because you, O Lord, are the Most High over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised meats when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we had been witnesses of his majesty, for he received honor and glory from God the Father. When that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory, this is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it, as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. A reading, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up a mountain to pray. While he was praying, his face changed in appearance and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, two men were conversing with him, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his exodus that he was going to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions had been overcome by sleep, but becoming fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As they were about to part from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But he did not know what he was saying. While he was still speaking, a cloud came and cast a shadow over them, and they became frightened when they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my chosen son. Listen to him. After the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. They fell silent and did not, at that time, tell anyone what they had seen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Tayo po ngayon ay nagdiriwang ng kapistahan ng pagbabagong anyo ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo o the transfig transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alam nyo po, mas siguro maintindihan din po natin ano, may mga storya po o mga kwento o mapapanood tayo sa mga iba't ibang palabas. Halimbawa po, no, ito ay kwento ng isang babae na Cinderella na nagbagong anyo pero gumanda yung babae. Ano? Tapos, nung naging mukha siyang prinsesa, yun nga lang, may hanggang 12 o'clock lang. So, nagbagong anyo yung si Cinderella. May kwento rin naman ng Beauty and the Beast. 
na yung beast nagbagong anyo nung siya'y nakahanap ng tunay na pag-ibig dahil yun ang kanyang sumpa. Nung siya po ay nakahanap ng tunay na pag-ibig, nagbago yung anyo niya. Naalala ko may kwento rin ng mga, may alamat din tayo, hindi niya ata alamat. Basta kwento na nababasa ko rin noon, mga libro, na may isang prinsesa daw na nakakita na isang palakang nagsasalita. At sabi ng palaka, pag daw hinalikan siya, magbabago siya kanyo, magiging prinsipe. At ganun nga yung nangyari. Mula sa palaka, nung hinalikan siya, nagbago anyo. Ngayon sa Ibanghelyo po natin, eh, mas, mas spiritual, mas maganda yung pag-ano po, no? Sapagkat si Jesus sa ating Ibanghelyo ay tinawag si Peter, si Pedro, si John, at si James sa bundok para manalangin. At na-surprise ang mga apostles sapagkat hindi nila inaasahan na makakakita sila ng isang pangitain, isang vision na sa kanilang pagdarasal nakita nila si Jesus na nagbagong anyo. Sabi sa gospel, while Jesus was praying, his face changed in appearance. No? His clothing became dazzling white, naging maputi ang kanyang damit. Sa makatawid, naging iba yung itsura ng Panginoon. Pero nakilala ng mga apostles na yung pare na isipa ang ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. No? Tinawag sila. At bukod doon, nakita nila na kasama ni Jesus si Moses at si Elijah. Sino ba si Moses and Elijah? Si Moses po, kilala po natin yan. Kung ipaparehas natin, iaambing natin kay sa ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, Si Moses po ay nag-fasting din for 40 days and 40 nights. Pagkatapos din po nun, si Moses po ay kilala rin po bilang naging instrumento para ibigay ang sampung utos ng Panginoon. ba? Diba? E di ba si Jesus Christ sa bigay din ng two commandments about love? At alam niyo po si Moses, kung nabasa po oh, may, may sa Bible din po sa Exodus, nagbago rin yung anyo ni Moses. Nagkaroon ng, sabi doon, Moses' face was shining when he came down from Mount Sinai after receiving the tablets of covenant, nagbago rin yung anyo niya. Yung mukha niya mas naging shining. Di ba may mga ganun po ngayon? Yung parang nag-bloom yung face, pero si Jesus Christ, naramdaman ng mga apostol, may nagbago kay Christ. Mas naging radiant yung kanyang ilaw. Si Elijah rin po ay isang eminent prophet. Kilala, nag-fast din po for 40 days and 40 nights. At ang maganda po dito, sa event na ito, nakita ng mga aposo, sila po yung mga witnesses ng ating Panginoon from dito sa lupa. At si Elijah at Moses ay mga witnesses din sa heaven. Ano ang sinasabi nito sa atin? Na si Jesus Christ po, nakita yung divinity, yung pagiging Panginoon ng ating Diyos sa event na ito na ang Panginoon ay both human and divine. Di ba? Ang gandang pakinggan, ang gandang makita na na witness actually sa second reading po natin na banggit din doon na alala ni Pedro, na isulat ni Pedro na nakita nila yung pangyayaring ito. Ano, at bukod po doon sa nakita nilang ito, narinig nila from heaven na sinabi ng Panginoon, anong sabi doon? You are my beloved son. With you I am well pleased. Ikaw ang aking bugtong na anak na lubos kong kinalulugdan. Alam niyo po, bago po ang gospel na to, merong nauna doon sa verses 22 or verse 22 na may prediction na about the passion of Christ na siya po ay magsasuffer. So para hindi ma-disorient din ng mga apostles, nakita na nila na, oh, ang Panginoon ay hindi tao lang. Siya po ay Diyos. So para hindi mawala ang kanilang pananampalataya na sila ay panghawakan nila yung kanilang pananampalatayang iyon. Di ba sa credo, pag tayo nagdarasal, kapag may solemnity or Sunday, nababanggit po at nasasabit na dadasal po natin, that Jesus Christ, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. So ito na po yung identity ng ating Panginoon. 
Ngayon, ano pong naging connection nito sa atin? Ito po ay maganda sapagkat tayo po ay mga anak po ng Diyos. Paano po tayo naging anak? Tayo po'y naging anak sa pamamagitan po ng ating binyag. Kung maalala po natin, nung tayo mga bata, anong sabi po doon? I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Ang sabi nga po ni Pablo, tayo daw po ay mga adopted sons and daughters of God. Sa ating mga Pilipino, yung tawag na adopted, medyo negative kasi parang second class citizen kasi adada, ano lang siya. Uh, parang, ay, ampol lang yan. Hindi po. Sa Roma po, pag sinabing adopted sons and daughters, lahat ng mga pribilehyo, lahat ng mga uh, rights ng isang anak at adopted parehas, tayo lang naman nagkaroon ng distinctions. Pero sa Roma, pag sinabing adopted ka, sons and daughters, anak ka talaga. So, ganun din po dito sa atin. Tayo po, dahil sa pamamagitan ng binyag, tayo po yung mga naging anak ng Diyos. No? Ang kinin po natin, kaya tayo, pag nagdarasal tayo, nagkakaroon tayo ng right na tawagin our Father. Ama namin. Nagiging ama natin ng Diyos dahil doon sa ating binyag. Tayo mga anak. Huwag po natin kakalimutan dyan. Alam nyo po, ang mga demonyo or mga evil spirit, tinatawag daw tayo sa kasalanan. Ayan yung ano, ganito yan. Ayan yung mga ginagawa niyan. Pero ang Diyos, alam nyo saan tayo tatawagin? Tatawagin tayo sa ating pangalan. Pangalan kung anong pangalan tayo bininyagan. Kung ikaw po ay bininyagan sa pangalang Downey o pangalang Perla o Tide. Kasi ako po bininyagan sa pangalang Ariel. By the way, ako po po si Father Ariel Adolfo. Ako po ay Dominican priest. Kaka-ordain ko lamang po noong July 22, 2022. Kaya medyo ano pa po ako, bago pa po akong pare, dun po sa Santo Domingo. Ano po? So mga, at dito po ako ma-assign. Kung tutusin po, first mass ko po ngayon. Kaya medyo, sabi ko, nagulat akong daming tao. Ay, salamat po. <laughs> Nagulat ako. Pero gayon pa man po, masaya-masaya pa rin po ako dahil uh, ang dami. Nakaka-overwhelm. Kasi sanay po ako na ang mga misa lang po namin, o nudikon po ako, konti-konti lang. Ano? Pero ngayon po, marami na. Marami po salamat. At saka po, uh, naisip ko din na nung nagbibinyag ako, kasi ako po nakakapagbinyag po kami nung diakono kami, natutuwa ako dahil kahit pandemic, ang daming mga bata na pinabinyagan, iba malalaki na dahil nga na-postpone eh. Pero masaya po ako dahil maraming nabinyagan. At sa Pilipinas nga daw po, maraming nabinyagan eh. No? Tayo may pinakamarami sa buong mundo na nabinyagan bilang mga Katoliko. At ako po, sabihin po natin, kahit ang Panginoon po natin kasama, para, kasama po natin sa banal na misa, araw-araw, ganun din po kahit hindi tayo karapat-dapat sa Diyos, kahit ako po, hindi po karapat-dapat, nagiging karapat-dapat tayo dahil sa pamamagitan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Tayo po yung magsitayo para sa prayers of the faithful. In the transfiguration, the Father revealed the glory of His Son. We do not see His glory now, but as we wait for the kingdom, We pray in His name to the Father. For our petition, we shall say, Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That the glory of Christ may shine through the church as we faithfully listen to Him. Let us pray to the Lord. that the beloved Son may lead the nations into the paths of peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That we may grow in grace, that others may see the light of Jesus in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That people who suffer may see their future in the transfigured Redeemer. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That the dead may be transfigured in the likeness of Christ's glorious body. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. Lord God, it is wonderful for us to be here. Receive the prayers of this community. Assemble to hear your words and to offer the sacrifice of your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Bless are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of the human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of the human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by His radiant splendor cleanse us from the stains of sin, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He revealed His glory in the presence of chosen witnesses, and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples, and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled, what so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. And so with the powers of heaven, and worship, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holy names. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the jupal, 
so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministers to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may gather it into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, we have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say our...
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lived and reigned forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. The speaking of the body. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. 
Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And, with you. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for it. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Tayo po ngayon ay magbe-bless ng mga may sakit at ganun din po yung magpapabless ng mga rosaries and other religious articles. Dasal po natin, God Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Feed them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles in memory of the mysteries of the life and death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 